This is Sikha in Lakut. The Sikha is Chay Lukach of Aleph, the third Sikha, the Parsha is Yisrael. It's a Sikha on the end of the Parsha, where it talks about the Mizbeach. And the Torah says that when you make the Mizbeach, and the Mizbeach is very high, in order to get onto the Mizbeach, you have to have a ramp. And the Posik says that you must have a ramp, but you can't have steps. And this is what the Sikha is going to be all about. The Siyam Parsha Seinu, at the end of our Parsha, which is Yisrael, even posik v'lei salat b'maylas al mizbech and the posik where it said, "Do not walk up steps onto the mizbeach." And the posik gives the reason why ashaleisi gole yervoscha olov. So you shouldn't reveal the, your private places on the mizbeach because when you walk on steps, you have to spread your feet much more. The maiden, when you spread your feet, so your private parts are exposed to the bottom, the floor that you're walking on, and it's not nice. So the Torah says, "Don't do that." If you walk. On a ramp, it's not the same. It doesn't expose it so much. And therefore, you should only walk on the ramp, not on steps. Zog de Mechilte, the Mechilte says, From here, we learn at the Kalvachem, but the Mechilte is going to show that if you're not allowed to walk this way on the Mizbeach, which is only on top of stones, and the reason is because it's Derek Bizoyen, it's an embarrassing thing to do. So certainly that you cannot do anything embarrassing to another human being, to another Yid, to a friend. So this is what the Mechilta says. This is a Kalvachem. Ma yavonim. Madach, stones. She'em behem da'as le'le rova le'le teva. Stones don't have any understanding, any das. Not for good and not for bad. It's just a plain stone. Oh, Merakadish Baruch Hashem says, le'te na'ik behem. Minik bizoyin. You do not behave in a behavior which is embarrassing. Chaver chosa, your friend. Shubit Musa, shul mishom ha'va yo'elam. Which is in the image of Hashem who's the one that created the world. He said, and the world was created. So your friend is in the Dmus of the Eibishter. Dinu, so certainly, that you shouldn't behave in an embarrassing way to it. If you can't behave in an embarrassing way to the stones, that's why you can't walk on steps. Certainly, you can't behave in an embarrassing behavior to another yid. Then the Rebbe says, This Kalvachemer is also brought down in Rashi. There in Russia, you have differences, changes, different expressions, and additional things. And this is the lotion of Russia. These stones. It doesn't have the understanding. To care about the embarrassment. The stones don't have the das to care that they're being embarrassed. Nevertheless, the Tater said, Since there's a need in these stones. You should not behave in an embarrassing way. Your friend, who's in the image of your creator, he does care about his embarrassment. Certainly, you should not behave in an embarrassing way to your friend. So if you compare the expressions of Rasha to the expressions, the lotion of the Mechilta, you see changes. And the Rebbe is going to explain here the reason for the differences between Rasha and the Mechilta. And the Rebbe quotes first a few differences. Those was Rasha zog dem loshin sheim bem das lo hakpet al bizyenom. This that Rasha uses the expression that the stones don't have the das to care about their embarrassment. Andesh with the loshin amechilte different than the way it says in the mechilte sheim bem das leila rov leila teva. It doesn't say it doesn't have das to care about the embarrassment. It says it doesn't have das doesn't have an understanding not for good and not for bad. Why does Rasha change that? Is moving the pashtas. That's very clearly understood. By stressing how much there is no, there's a lack of embarrassment by the stones. In comparison to the embarrassment that there is by a friend. That the way Rasha puts it makes the Chalvachim stronger. Because by using the words that you, the stones don't care about the Bezoyim, and another person cares about the Zoyan, makes the contrast much stronger. The Melet makes the Kalvachemer stronger. That the Kalvachemer, mother, by the stones that don't care about the Zoyan. You shouldn't do anything embarrassing. A person who cares about the Zoyan, about it, you shouldn't do anything embarrassing. It's a stronger emphasis on the Kalvachemer than the Mechilta says. And that's why when it comes to the side of your friend, he says the Lashon, which means he cares about the Bezoyan. Mechilta doesn't say that. 
Mechilta doesn't say, just says the stones don't know the difference between good and bad. And your friend, you should, certainly your friend, you should not be having a minik bezoyen. But he doesn't use the words there that your friend cares about the embarrassment. But in order to show the Kalpachem is stronger, Sarasha picks this expression that the, the stones, he says, don't care, don't know to care on their embarrassment. And the person knows to care on his embarrassment. So it makes the Kalpachem strong. And that's what Asha changes. The Loshen Bepirish Asha, another difference which we could explain very simply. The Loshen in Asha, Chaver Loshen Betmus Yitzrach, that certainly your friend who's in the Tumus, in the image of your creator. And Shtod the Loshen Amechilte, which is instead of the way that it says in Mechilte, that your friend is Betmus Yitzrach, he's in the, in the image of Hashem, of the one that created the world. But here Rasha says he's in the image of your creator. Who's the you? While Yetzirah read Kepashit, when the Yetzirah from the mail of Amilus. When he says your creator means he's talking to the person who's going to walk up the steps. If you walk up the steps, there is going to be an embarrassment for the stones. So you two should not, certainly you should not embarrass your friend who is made in the image of your creator. So certainly if it's your creator, that's even more smarter why you shouldn't embarrass him because it's your creator. So that's why Rasha picks Rasha's to the Shemikra and he wants to make everything clearer. So Rasha changes the law, she makes the law, she should make the Kalbachemer stronger. So that we could explain to the says. But this that Rasha adds to the words of the Mechilte and he says, Omra Teira, the Teira said by the stones, Hail the Yezbem Tzayra, since there's a need in the stones, that's why you shouldn't embarrass it and that doesn't say in Mechilte, so we have to understand, what is this idea that you need the stones add to the Kalvachimer that certainly your friend, you shouldn't embarrass, shouldn't do any minik bizoyen. What does that add here? And Rasha, as we said before, adds it to make it clearer. How does this make it clear? The fact that there's a need in the stones. The stones are still stones. So what does Rasha, why does Rasha add these words? So we understand it by first showing the difference in the way the posig is explained in Velchem Ezogdom Kalvachemer and the posig that we're talking about, which is the source for this Kalvachemer to show you that you cannot do anything embarrassing to your friend. So there's a difference. This is Mavoyer in Mechilte, Midas is Musber in Pirish Rashi, the way the Mechilte explains it. In other words, besides this Kalvachemer itself, which we just showed differences between the way Rasha writes it and the way the Mechilta writes it, to understand this, we have to first see what else does the Mechilta say in Rasha say. Right before the Mechilta brings this Kalvachemer, that from the fact that you shouldn't be do anything embarrassing to the stones, we learn out certainly you shouldn't do anything embarrassing to your friend. Right before that, the Mechilta says something else. And this is what the Mechilta says. In Mechilte state free, in Mechilte it says before, before this Kalvachem, and it says like this. The Posik says, Asheloi, Sigale, Sigole, Voscha, Olov, that your every should not be revealed, Olov, on it. We're talking, it means the Mizbeach. It says, like, Sailab, Bemailis, Al Mizbechi, don't go on steps on the Mizbeach, so you shall not be Megale, Voscha, on the Mizbeach. So the Mechilte says, from here we learn out, Olov, Yate, Pesei, Pesei, Gase. It's only on it, meaning on the Mizbeach, on the ramp to the Mizbeach, or if it would have been stone, if he would have made it. With steps, you would be stepping on the steps to the Mizbeach. So here, going to the Mizbeach, you're not allowed to make big steps. Because of the reason, because it's Gilu Erbe. So the Posik tells you, only here you're not allowed. All of you can't on the Mizbeach. But if we're talking about the Heichal, the Heichal is the building of the Bisamikdash. Bisamikdash had, the Mizbeach stood in the courtyard. Then there was the building further up. And the building was made up, that's called the Heichal. The building is made up of the Ulam. First there was the hallway. Then there was the place called Heichal, which had the Meneira and the Mizbeach and the Shulchan, the small Mizbeach and the Shulchan. And then you had the Kedesh HaKadoshim. So from here we learn out that on the Mizbeach, you can't take big steps. That's why you shouldn't walk on steps. But in the Heichal, in the Kedesh HaKadoshim, you are allowed to walk big steps and separate your feet more, which mainly means you would be able to make steps if you'd have to. And the why does the Posik have to teach us that? Because if not for the Posik, we would have learned the opposite. That you're not allowed to walk, make big steps by the Heichel and the Kedish HaKadosh. Why? Because we make a Kalvachimer. Ma, Mizbeach HaKal, also Lipsaya Bipsiyo. Ma, Doch, when it comes to the Mizbeach, which is a lower level of holiness than the Heichel and the Kedish HaKadosh. 
Nevertheless, you're not allowed to take big steps. And the Holy of Holies, which is even more strict. Certainly, you're not allowed to take big steps. They're even stricter. That's why Talmud Lamer, that's what the Posse teaches us. That only on it, meaning on the Mizbeach, you can take big steps and not spread your feet apart. Avol. Only here on it, on the Mizbeach, you can't take big steps. But you're allowed to take big steps by the and right after that comes the Mechilka saying that we learn a Kalvachem, that if you can't embarrass the stones of the Mizbeach, certainly you can't embarrass another Yid, as we said before. That's the way the Mechilka dashed into the Posig before. Over Rashi, it has Cholis Perushe, whereas Masbern the Posig is Mefarish Rashi, in the beginning of explaining this Posig, he explains, says something else. In other words, Rashi does not bring this that the Mechilka says. What does Rasha say? Rasha says like this. Just gives the reason why, what the Pasuk means, that you can't walk on steps and Mizbeach. You shouldn't be Megaler, Vosch, your private place, it shouldn't be exposed. So Rasha says, because because if you go on steps, you have to widen your steps. And then Rasha continues, even though it's not really exposing your private private parts. Because Taylor says you should make, they had pants on. So even if they, made wide steps, they still had pants, so it wasn't exposed. If you spread your feet, in other words, you take big steps, it's close, similar a little bit to exposing those places. And that will be that you are behaving in a form of embarrassing to the Mizbeach, to the place that you're walking up. So Rasha does not bring what the Mechilte says that in the Kedesh Lagadoshim and Heichel, you're allowed to. Now, what, why doesn't Rasha say it? Not, not really why he doesn't say it. It's strange that Rasha doesn't say it because, as the Rebbe will explain, the reason the Mechilte says it right before he makes the Kalvachemer about another friend, you shouldn't behave it with Bizoyan to him. The Rebbe is going to explain why the Mechilte does it. And after we see why the Mechilte writes that, we'll have a question. So, why doesn't, what you see, Rasha doesn't write it. And we'll see it. First, so there is all this. Those were the Kalvachemen and Alkumti Mechilte, like Nor the Mute. All of you at the Pesea, Psea Gasa, about the Pesea, Hulu, Behechel, Bekesh, Agadosh. And this is the Kalvachemen that you certainly shouldn't embarrass another person. Comes right after when the Mechilte explains that you are allowed to walk big steps in the Hechel, the Kedesh, Agadosh. So there must be a connection between the two. So there is a Shlemer at the Mute, Fred Babor, and those became friends. The Mechilte says it that way because this answers a question that one may ask. What question one may, may ask one person, a person? The reason for the cigar of Vosho of the Tinic Bemini Gazoyan, the fact that you can't reveal a Vosho on it, which means don't behave to the going up to the Mizbeach in an embarrassing way, is Lukhura Nit Mitzad Apne Mizbeach Mitzad Atzme. Why shouldn't you do it in an embarrassing way? So, first glance, we would think it's not because the stones of the, the, the stones themselves, nor to live them, Vazayn de Katel for Mizbeach, because they're part of the Mizbeach, which means part of the Migdosh. It is Aninia from Gdushas Vieres at Mizbeach. So by not doing anything embarrassing to the steps going up or the, the ramp going up, it's all not because of the stones themselves. It's because they are part of the Mizbeach, which is holy, and part of the Besamikdosh. So not to do embarrassing things here is connected to Kovet Hashem because the Besamikdosh is the place where the Shechina is. So you shouldn't do anything embarrassing to the stones because they're part of the Besamikdosh, which is the Kovet of Hashem. Was the from his The Hashem's covered. The Hashem's shechina is resting on the mizbeach on the mikdash. So, but even though we're talking about not embarrassing the stones, but it's not because the stones themselves, it's because they're part of a holy thing. Al derech with the mitzvah for made mikdash bechal. Just like we find, there's a mitzvah that you says you should be afraid of the base of mikdash. So the Rambam writes, leimen a mikdash at the doesn't say you have to be afraid of the stones of the building. You have to be afraid of the one that's. Is resting, his shina is resting in this place. When it says be afraid of the base amigdash, be afraid of the apish there who's in the base amigdash. But the Loshna Chinuch, like the Chinuch writes, previous was the Loshna of the Ram, but this Loshna of the Chinuch, Ados Likveya, but Nafsha Sein, the Yiris and Mokim Baruchu. That the fact that you have to be afraid of the base amigdash is in order to establish within us to be afraid of Hashem, Uchshivusi, and his importance. That's why you can't do anything, Kalos Reish, light headed things. You can't do 
in the Beis Amikdash. That's part of what it says. You have to be afraid of the Beis Amikdash and certain things you can't do. So it's in order to make us feel the Yerah Shemayim to Hashem. So the same thing here also. The Pashtas al Piseichel, what's the reason you shouldn't do anything that's embarrassing to the stones of going up to the Mizbeach? Because, not because of the stones themselves, because they're part of the Beis Amikdash. So it's because of Hashem that's there. But if so, Vetakashe. How could we learn out from the fact that we shouldn't do anything embarrassing to the stones going up to the Mizbeach? That the so too, certainly you can't do anything embarrassing to your friend. How could you compare the two? By the stones, there's a Gdushe. It's part of the Bisamidosh. Your friend is not part of the Bisamidosh, doesn't have that Gdushe. So maybe by the Mizbeach going up, you're not allowed to do anything embarrassing because it's part of the Bisamidosh. But by another friend, how do we know from there that you can't do something to another friend? So that's the kasha that might come up. And that's the reason the Mechilte brings what it says before it, before this Kalvachayim, that you shouldn't embarrass a friend. He brings the Limud that in the Heichel, in the Kedish Chakadoshim, you could do white, white steps. But since we already learned out first, all of the that only on the Mizbeach he can make take big steps. But you are allowed to make take big steps by the and the Because if we would learn the way we learned thought before, the reason you can't do this to the to the Mizbeach is not because of the stones. It's because they are part of the covet of the Bismigdosh. Well, there is from so this prohibition that you can't do this, you can't walk fast, uh, wide steps because it's an embarrassing thing. So certainly you shouldn't be able to do that by the Heichel and Kedesh HaKadosh. It would be a stronger prohibition. I said before that the Heichel and Kedesh HaKadosh are stricter, more holier than the Mizbeach. So if on the Mizbeach you can't go because it's part of the Mizbeach, there's a Gdusha there. So the Gdusha of the Heichel certainly so if we learn that way, we'd have the kasha. The kasha is how can we learn out since the whole thing? And so where kasha was since the whole thing is because of the gdusha. How do you have a raya for the chav for for a chave? So the second kalvachayim that Mechilter brings that from here we know that the chave certainly you can't would not be understood because if it's because of the misbe because of the gdusha of the misamikdosh, by the chave there's no gdusha. Is the full movement. So now that it says before that you are allowed to take big steps by the Kedesh HaKadosh and Ron Deheichel is understood that there is certainly solid. The fact that you can't walk, take big steps onto the Mizbeach is need place to live there with the Sachedek from the Mikdash. It's not only because it's a part of the Mizbeach, that's the main thing. Because be part of the Mizbeach, certainly you couldn't do it by the Heichel Lavade, by the Kedesh HaKadosh. No, be ikim, it's the Avni HaMizbeach Atzman. Must be because the stones themselves. Because of these stones, they're stones. You cannot take big steps because it's embarrassing. But Mela, now since it's because of the stones, now now, now we can make a Kalvachemer. Mela came up with a Merpel and a Kalvachemer. So we can learn that. Mayim Avon Mshem Bem Das Leilor Oval Teva Madak stones, which don't have Seichel, not for good, not for good. Oh, Marakadish Borah Huleti Naik Bohem. The Tere David just said, don't behave with them, meaning the Loshim with them, meaning in the Avon Muf, in this concerning the stone, nothing to do with the Misamigdosh. You shouldn't have a Minik Bezoyan, a Verchos or your friend. Dinu shalit in the Bible, who does understand? Certainly, you can't behave in the Bible. So it comes out here that the reason that the Mechilte wrote first the din, that this din that you're not allowed to take big steps doesn't apply to the Heichel, the Shakadoshim, is an introduction to the next limud. The limud is that if you can't do that to the stone, certainly you shouldn't do it to a friend. The only way you can make that Kalvachemer is by first knowing that it's because of the stones themselves. Now you compare, this is just stones and this is a human being. But if we wouldn't know that by Heichel, you're allowed to, then we would say, maybe it's all the, the reason for the, for the stones of the Mizbech because it has a Gdusha, and by a regular person, it has a Gdusha. And therefore, what's the Kalvachem? So it comes out that the only way we can make this Kalvachem to learn out from the stones that you can't behave Mindig Bezoyan, to learn out for a friend, is only if we know before that it's a din in the stones, nothing to do, not only because it's part of the Bishamikdush, and that we know from the din, that in the Heichel, the Shakadoshim, you are allowed to. But according to this, Rasha doesn't bring this limit that the Hilte brings, that you are allowed to take big steps in the Heichel. 
and the Kedesh HaKadoshim. So the question is, so how does Rasha learn the Kavachim Begeya, your friend? Rasha never said that it's only because of the stones. It says it's only because of the stones, Baharaya and the Heichel, you're allowed to. Rasha didn't bring that. Rasha said something else there, but he didn't bring this idea that you're allowed to walk, take big steps in the Heichel. So according to Rasha, since we don't know that, so how would we learn Bapashtas, if not for that, that the reason is because of the Gdusha that's in these stones. So how could you learn now? How could Rasha learn out of Abu Chaymer? So we must say, and the Rebbe is going to show that Rasha does teach us somehow that it's a din mitzah, the stones, not because it's part of the Bishamikdash. And that is one of the reasons why Rasha makes different changes in the way he puts the Kalbah So we'll learn it inside. This will explain why Rasha adds in his commentary, diverter, he says the words, by the stones the Taylor said, since there's a need in it, don't behave in an embarrassing way with it. By putting these words, there is a tzayrech, Rasha tells us the same idea, that it's a din in the stones. How? Since Rasha does not mention this limud, that in the Heichol and Kedesh Shekadoshim, you are allowed to big steps. From Velcham and Veis, as the Rishon for Lisaylo Milas is by Bunim Midav and Av Nimis Beich and Tzadatzve, which is the one that teaches us the thing that teaches us that it's connected to the stones themselves. Canal Muz Rashi Mat Bizei the Minyan in the Mkal Bechem and Gufes. Rashi must stress this idea that it's a Din Mitzad the stones themselves, and but mainly he's able to make the Kal Bechem that if the stones you're not allowed to be make do a Bizoyin and embarrassing certainly to a person. Where does Rasha put in this idea to teach us that it's a din in the stones, not inside the Gdusha? Because if it be inside the Gdusha, we have no Kalvachemer for another person. The other person has no Gdusha. So Rasha says it like this in the Kalvachemer. Rasha, hail the Yesh Bohem Tzairach. Rasha says that if by stones, which you have in them a need, what does that mean? Since there's something special in these stones. What's so special? There's a need for it. You need them to go to the Mizbeach. But does bring them that because Rasha says, why take it? can't you walk with big steps, talk on, walk on steps and take big steps by the Mizbeach? So Rasha says the reason is because you shouldn't expose yourself, which is a Bizoyan. And that is, why shouldn't you do it? Because there is a Tzairach in the stones. That means in the stones. If the Avne Mizbeach Keshel Atzmon, that in the there's a need in the stones of the Mizbeach for themselves. Need their farvas is a tale from Klolos Hamikdash, not because it's part of the general Mizbeach. Nor hail be yesh b'hem tzairach. Since there's a tzairach. Oh, so, it's, so Rasha also tells us. Rasha uses these words to tell us something that if not for those words, we wouldn't know. So Rasha says the reason why you can't go on steps and not expose yourself is only is because the stones themselves. Because there's a need in the stones. The stones are something special. But they're only stones. It's not because it's part of the Beis It's not only stones. It's part of the Gdush of the Beis HaMikdash, of the Shechina. It's because of the stones themselves. So now if it's stones themselves, you can make a Kal After all, they're still stones. But because these stones, there's some need in the stones, that's why you can't do a mini Bezoyan, a human being, which is not stones, which are Seichel, certainly you can't do a Bezoyan. David didn't explain yet what that's meaning. That explains, Take, why there's no prohibition of making steps in under the tail of Mikdash. In other parts of the Mikdash. Because if we learn what we thought before, that the reason you can't do this, because it's part of the Mikdash, so the Isa should be by all parts of the Mikdash, you shouldn't be able to take big steps or go on steps. By the other places, if you go on steps, and there are steps going to the Bes- going from part to part in the Mikdash. So the problem of Lesigolar Voscha is there. Nevertheless, there's no Isar. Other rabbis are given Milas Arufz against the Bulam to Mechel. On the contrary, there were actually steps to go up to the Hechel, to go up to the Ulam, which is the first part of the Hechel. There were steps there. Why is there no Isar? Babadi Avonim, from the Milas is in Toda Yeshbem Tzere, because the stones, the other places in the Bishamik, there's, there's no concept that there is a Tzere there. And the reason you can't go on these stones of the Mizbeach is because there's a Tzairach. Now, the Rebbe didn't explain yet what's the Pshad, there is a Tzairach, and what's the Pshad by the other parts, there is no Tzairach. But the Nakuda we see, we don't see the Hasbore yet, the explanation, but we see the Nakuda. Rasha adds these words. The whole Kash and the Sikha was, why does Rasha add the words by the stones, Yashmim Tzairach? Because if not for these words, we'd have a problem. We would think that the reason is, why can't you walk on 
big steps to the Mizbeach because it's part of Mizbeach. Then you can't learn as Kedusha. You can't learn out from there concerning another person. But since Rasha is telling us there's a Kalvachem of another person, so Rasha tells us because the stones are themselves special. And this is the reason why by other places there is no Yisra because it's not so special. There's not Yesh Munzerich. What's the explanation why? The Bible says the explanation is like this. This that we learn out from the stones of the Mizbeach, that you can't do anything embarrassing to these stones. Certainly you can't do anything embarrassing to another Eden. It's not so simple. The whole limit is not simple. Do we need a Kalvachemer from the stones of the Mizbeach that you're not allowed to embarrass another Yid? We only know it for me. There's no other way we know. Sure, we can't embarrass another person. We know it from so many other places. Why do we need to learn out from the stones of the Mizbeach that you cannot embarrass another Yid? So the Rebbe says, that's not the Pshat. We're not talking about what even by the Mizbeach pushed a real, real embarrassment. If you die in Rashi, any of the Mizbeach, you said, just like here, you can't do a Minik Bezoyim. What's a Minik Bezoyim mean? Minik bizoyim is not a bizoyim. Bizoyim is an embarrassment. The embarrassing thing you can't do. Minik bizoyim means it's similar to a bizoyim. It's not a real bizoyim. It's not a real embarrassment. And this is Saimit Sadi Avonim. It's not a real embarrassment for two reasons. Number one, for the stones themselves. Because they feel nitkem bizoyim. The stones don't feel embarrassed. From the Herkesha bizoyim is I ikrim bizoyim. Feeling the embarrassment is the main thing of the embarrassment. In other words, when I embar the person embarrasses somebody else, the main thing is that he feels the embarrassment. If he doesn't feel the embarrassment, even it's an embarrassed thing, it's not the same. Bizas, like the A in Gemara, there's one opinion in Gemara, one opinion or Svar in Gemara, is the Ganser Chiyu from Beishas, Dafkim and Esifaram Kisufa. There's a, one of the things you're not allowed to do to a person, and if you do it, you have to pay, is Beishas. You can't embarrass somebody. And it says in one Svar in the Gemara that when are you obligated to pay for embarrassing the person? Only when there is an embarrassment in his feeling. Let's say a person embarrassed somebody, did something embarrassing to somebody while he was sleeping. And he never got up, he died. But it's later that came on it, you filled the bush. The person who you embarrassed never felt it. He's my potter, is a sword at your potter, because the concept of embarrassment is the fact that the person gets embarrassed. It's not so much what you do, but what the person feels. So, that, since these are stones, there's no such thing as embarrassing a stone, because you might do something embarrassing, but the stone doesn't feel it, so it's not a real embarrassment. That's mitzad, the herikish, the feeling of the embarrassment of the of the one you're embarrassing. Wasai mitzad amaisa bezoyin. In this case, it's also not a real embarrassment. Mitzad, what you did. We're not talking about a behavior of kalos reish, which means lightheaded, something that's very not nice. From kalos reish bezoyin, mamich is also bechol sheter achad mishkan v'amikdash. Because to do something that's actually embarrassing and not nice. You can't do that anywhere in the Bishamigdash if it's a real embarrassment. Here we're talking that the act itself, besides the fact that there's no one that feels it, it's only stones, but besides that, the act itself, we're not talking, is a real embarrassment. Because to do a real embarrassment, you can't do anywhere in the Bishamigdash. And even though there are also stones, but you can't do it. But here it's a maise, was can always get touched by initial bazoin. That's something you do that might be interpreted as a maise bazoin, as an embarrassing thing. The Rasha Zokt, as by Eilab Amayla, like we called it Rasha before, the Rasha says, it says, don't go up the steps, and it exists why. So Rasha says, though, he's neat, can gilu erve mamish. It's not a real exposing of your private parts, nor korev le gilu erve. It's similar to it. And like I said before, they wore pants, so it's nothing to exposing. Elamai, it's, it resembles. So what we're talking here about, that we're learning out from the stones of the Mizbeach, we're not learning out that you're not allowed to embarrass somebody. But we're trying to learn out that you're not allowed to do something which seems to be like a little bit resembles your embarrassment. So from here we learn out as another person, as a stone design, you can't do even something which we call only a minig bizoyan. When I feel it, when that's right, feel the by it can push a Even if the other person doesn't feel the embarrassment, you're not allowed to do that either. So that's what we're trying to learn out here. And this is how the Rebbe is going to get to explain. That why by the Mizbeach, we're not allowed to do this, even though it's only a minik bezoyen. And the reason is because yesh betzayrach, as Rasha said, there is a need, while in the other places you are allowed. And Rasha says this, and the Michilta didn't say that. 
And the Rebbe can say it like this. This is the difference in the Mechil Terashe. What is the Isa that the Tate is trying to tell us? According to the Mechil the person, the Isa on the person, the person is not allowed to do something that's embarrassing. And you're not allowed to do, the person is not allowed to do anything, even if it's not a real act of bizoyan of embarrassment. That's how you learn Poshipshat, and that's how the Machilta learns. Rasha Pshat, Rasha which is Pshat, can't learn simply. But we learn out from here that you can't do to some of the Minik Bizoyan. For Mufi says, and he's talking town to Machalak Zatvish, and Avnim is Bech and Avna Hechel. If that's the reason that you're not allowed to do a Maisa Bizoyan, because the person is not allowed to do it, so why is there no Easter in doing it to the Hechal, to the stones of the Hechal, the stones of the Kiddush HaKadoshim? Why are we making a difference? If the person is not allowed to do anything embarrassing, so why is he allowed to do it over there? The fun was the Easter, Davke Be'avna Mizbeach, because we're saying that the Easter is only by the Mizbeach, the stones of the Mizbeach, like the Mechilte says, not by the Hechal and the Kiddush HaKadoshim, is Fashtanik, we understand, if we're talking about the, what the person can do because he is not allowed to do something that's a minig bezoyan, there would be no difference in any place of the Bisamitish, not only by the Mizbeach. For him, is can give can emissar maise bezoyan. So, and why wouldn't we be? So, if, like the Rebbe, so the Rebbe says here, if it's the person, you wouldn't be able to do it, it would be by everything. The fact that it's not by everything shows that it's not because of what the person does. Because the person, what he does is, if the forbidden is what he does, would be by everything. And the reason why it would be the same by everything, because do is given can It's not the embassy And that's why you can't, you could do it by other places, but you should be able to do it here too, just like you could do it over there. You could do it here too. Why is there a difference between here and there? If and if we're looking at it as Samaisa Bazoyan, but since it's only a mice, a minic bazoyan, you're allowed to do it by other places. So you should be able to do it by the Mizbeach also. Now, by the Av the Mizbeach is Doan Minyam Yuchet. Now, the reason must be, Rasha says, it's not because the Maisa Ha'odom, the person's act of Minik Bezoyin is forbidden. Then there would be no difference. The reason why there's a difference is because by the Mizbeach, there's something special. Hail V'yeshba Em Tzerach. There's a need here. What does that mean? What's Mitzadem is the Minik Bezoyin Geirem En Kesufe. Since there's a need in the stones, it's almost like the stones are getting embarrassed. Not the stones themselves, but those that need to use the stones. The Rebbe will explain. And the Rebbe is going to explain that Yeshbem Tzerich means there's a need for using the stones. So there is an embarrassment in the people who will use it. And that doesn't apply to the other places of the Beis English. Why? That's what Rebbe said. Explanation is like this. When Asher said there's a need, what does he mean? He means like this. The Kayanim, when they go do the Aveda on the Mizbeach, cannot do their Aveda unless they walk up towards the Mizbeach. There's no other way. That's why you're not allowed to make steps so you wouldn't spread your feet out because that'll be a Minik Bezoyan. If you behave, in a minig bezoyin, only a minig bezoyin, but even if it's a minig bezoyin, and you behave that way in connection to the stones of the mizbeach, is memaderech ameila ech mavaza the keonim is darf non kumet zadei avonim. So you're embarrassing the keonim. The keonim must use this place to go up, and if they're going up in a way which brings a bezoyin to the stones that they have to use, it's really an embarrassment for them. But dugnas malay mamish. The statement of the Shainim similar, not exactly the same, the Rebbe says, but it's similar. But it says in the Shainim, the Miri, the Gabachiv Tashlumin from Beishas, when it says that if you embarrass somebody, you have to pay. So it says like this Adadin Roka Bebig De Potter says that if you spit on somebody's clothes, even though it's an embarrassment, you don't have to pay. This Dean Potter is Daf given them is Baish, and Beishas Maisa the Beg and the Kitron. It's only if the one that owns this garment and got embarrassed. Wasn't wearing it. Eibaveres dam veis had a kike given onget on the bag, and if while the other guy spit, he was wearing the bag, it is the reke chayiv. So the one that spit has to pay. I is the same bag, he didn't spit in the face, he spit on the clothes. While durch shpai in the bag, at the mavazik when the man she was given onget on the bag, because by spitting on the bag, he's embarrassing the person. So here also, if you're doing something that's embarrassing the stones, 
you're causing a certain level of embarrassment to the people who use these stones to do their Aveda. So you're embarrassing the king. And that's something that's there by the Avne Mizbeach. And that's why the Avne Mizbeach, the Rasha says you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to go on steps, take big steps. And the reason is because these, this causes an embarrassment to the stones, which in turn causes an embarrassment to the Kayani. But the steps that you go by the Heichel, where they did have steps going up to the Heichel, is Eimbem Tzedek. There, there is no Tzedek. We can't call there's a need for a few reasons. Number one, by man can on in Heichel, leader of the Mailas. There's another way you can get to the Heichel, not through the steps. By the Mizbeach, there's no other way you can get to the Mizbeach, only this. So the Kainim must use this. And if they must use this, there's a need for these stones for the Kainim. So it's an embarrassment for the Kainim if you embarrass the stones. But by the Heichel, you don't have to go through the steps. So by going to the step, because you choose to do that, you choose to do that, that's not an embarrassment for you. But the second thing is, the the steps were not right by the Heichel where you did the Aveda. No, as I said before, the building had three sections. First was the Ulam, it was empty, but that was like the hallway. Then you had the Heichel, and then you had the Kedesh HaKadosh. The steps went up to the Ulam. So it's not direct to the Aveda. See, by the Mizbeach, the steps, or the, the ramp, or if it would have been steps, if you were allowed to have steps, it would have been steps directly to the Mizbeach. Here, the steps are not to the Mizbeach. It's not to the Aveda, the place of the Aveda. It's nor for the Ulam. Kumbh Meila so it comes out as Halichas Kehan, it's a Heichol, Duch the Meila, Shilif the Ulam, that when the Kehan go up to the Heichol, through the steps that's before the Ulam, which is before the Heichol, is not part and a need for their Aveda that they did in the Heichel. They did an Aveda in the Heichel. They did the Meneira, they had a small Mizbeach. They had a Shulchan. A Sheikh by Mizbeach is the Kevish ha Mizbeach, a tail for Mizbeach Gufa. The ramp to the Mizbeach is part of the Mizbeach. These are the Posik Zot, when the Posik says not to have steps. So the Loshan is, when they say the Bemailis, Al Mizbechi, don't go in steps, Al Mizbeach. Asher le Sigalar Voscho, all love, you should not reveal your, pl your private places on it. That means, as a roof gang of the Mailah or the Kevish to Mizbeach, if you go up steps or the way it really is, you go up ramp to the Mizbeach, Bert Girechen Veres Ef Mizbeach Guf, it's on the Mizbeach. And that's what the Rasha says. That the reason you can't go up because not because of the Gdushas on Besamigdash, because then it would be everything the same. And if it's only a, a Minag Bizoyan, which is allowed the other place, it would have been allowed here too. Why is it not allowed here? Because here is something special. These stones, there's embarrassment to the Kayanim who must use these steps. So these steps have a minik bezoyin. It makes a bezoyin for the kayanim. That's why you're not allowed to do that. And from here we learn out also like I'm embarrassing your friend. I feel that this is not a for minik bezoyin. Even if it's just a minik bezoyin, didn't cause by your friend an embarrassment in actuality. Still, the Valdas Hubert Musi Yitzchak, since he's in the image, Rasha says of your creator. When you have a minik, even only a minik, but you're doing something that has a certain embarrassment to your friend, and he is made in the image of your creator. So it's a bezoyim like Abba Deibishter. Al derech be'bam Yisrael b'sayel b'mayles and mizbechi, but the minik bezoyim b'shaychas to the avonim bring the bezoyim for the kainim. Just by the walking of the steps of the mizbeach, you would bring the bezoyim to the stones. Which we mainly brings a bezoyin to the kainim here too. If you embarrass your friend, you're bringing a bezoyin to your friend, but really you're making a bezoyin to your own creator, Yitzroch, your own creator. So this is the similarity, and that's why we could compare one to the other, and also with the Kalbachemer, because here he has the has to understand. This also explains the Loshan of Rasha. When he makes says the Kalbachemer, he says like this, also adds words, different than the Mechilte. Rasha says, Mother stones that don't have the understanding to care about their embarrassment. Omra Taira Hailvi Ajram Tsaidah Latin Bamizoyan the Taira said, because there's a need in them, don't behave with them. So your friend, who's an image of your creator, and cares about this bizoyan, Allah has come of a kama. Certainly you shouldn't do it. Nitri Mechilte Rasha says this, not like it says in Mechilte, was stated the Lashon Hak Pedal Bizenon, Umak Pedal Bizenon. The Mechilte doesn't say the stones don't have das to care about their embarrassment. And uh, your friend cares about his embarrassment. Rasha does add it. Why does Rasha add it? The meat is Rasha Mazbe. Rasha explains something like this. 
Malt by a volume below the shame them dust like the double zine and malt by the stone. They don't have any dust to care about their embarrassment. Why does he say that? Ubemele is Bazay Ibrahimni thought that he could get it from Bazoyan. So by them, the real Bazoyan is not there. The real Bazoyan is not there. Because as we said before, for Mapes is not Kakpodev Bazoyan. If you don't care, you're not embarrassed. You don't feel embarrassed. You don't care. Is Mdoch Mitin is Bazay Givon. You're not, there was no Bazoyan. So we see by the stones that even though they don't care about the Bazoyan, so really, really, it's not a Bazoyan, almost like saying it's not Bazoyan at all. Alpha became inside the roof as Yesh from Saint of Still because there's a need. And as we said before, a need meaning what? So the Kayanim, a need for the Kayanim, Vertas Farecham Tamini Bizoy, and it's considered like a mini bizoy, and you're not allowed to do that. Lachas Kama Bakama Matonit Negs, a mini bizoy and Kaba Khavercho. So certainly you can behave in a mini bizoy and even the Kaba your friend. Why? Number one, because who would Mus Yetzrach, because he's in the image of your creator. The Shaykhesh with Nimit Yetzrach is Yoshev and Niker, the connection between that other person. And your creator is very close, very straight. Not like by the by the Mizbeach also. If you walk on the Mizbeach and you embarrass the Mizbeach, the Kayanim walk on this, so you're automatically embarrassing the Kayanim. But there, there is no connection between the two, the two separate things. It just happens to be that they get embarrassed if you embarrass the stones. But Mashenki, by the case of the friend, there's a direct connection between your creator and him because he was created in the image of your creator. So mainly, there's a direct connection. Any embarrassment you do to him is an embarrassment to your creator. Similar to the embarrassing the stones that Mizbeach is embarrassing the Kayanim, but here it's even more, because here there's a direct connection. And second thing is, a person cares about his Bezoyan, embarrassed. So not only because the person, but the stones themselves, there could, but the person himself, by the stones, the person himself doesn't get a Bezoyan. Elamai is a Bezoyan indirect to the Kayanim, but by a friend, even though it's only a Minik Bezoyan, but that could be turned into a real Bezoyan to the friend because he cares about this Bezoyan. Not like the stones of the Mizbeach, where inside the stones themselves there is no embarrassment at all. It's only inside the Kayanim. So if over there you're not allowed, so here where it could be direct, a Bezoyan, certainly you're not allowed. So that's what Asha adds these words because this explains even more the Kalbo Chaymer. That it's because of the stones themselves and it's the Kayanim and the person is even more than the stones are embarrassed and not they are embarrassed. The Kayanim are embarrassed and this is even worse and that's why certainly not a lot. Peter Shrasha the Teyre Tchiyin Shal Teyre. Shat of Rasha and Teyre, the commentary of Rasha and the Teyre is called Yeyna Shal Teyre. It has the wine of Teyre. It means it has deeper in Yonim, lessons in the Veda Hashem. He's a shleimer, we could say, as in them, Peter Shrasha, Sima Pasha, so there was a good say that what Rasha writes here, that we're talking about, at the end of the Parsha, is Hakalay El Chacharachitim, everything follows the end. But Mele, this is the end of the Parsha, so it's a very important message. Is Maruma that Ike Betech Betechem for Kolos Hasedir, that has a rem, a hint for the whole Seder. Since everything follows the end, this is the end of the Seder, so there's something there that's connected to the whole Seder, which is the Ring of Matan Teir, Seder Sadibris. Taken of the whole Seder is Matan Teir and the Seder Sadibris. That's hinted in this thing that Rasha says here. Why? Just like the ten Dibris, ten commandments, as they call it, include not only the Dibris, the statements of I am Hashem your God, the deepest in Yonim in the Munas Hashem, you should not have other gods, the highest in Yonim in the unity of Hashem. So it includes not only that, nor the Dibris Achreinim, the last commandments was Ainat Vodim shooting very simple things, the Eastern Yonim Achrib shooting, the most simplest things, bin Odom Lachavet between man and man, like Le Sirzach, don't murder, Le Sinov, don't commit adultery, Kolash Le Rechat finishes of it, and don't desire, don't want, whatever belongs to your friend. So it's talking about things, bin Odom Lachavet. So with the Tayra tells, the Seres Adibris, Matan Tayra tells us that you combine the two. They're not two separate things. They're connected. He says, the Eichem, Pire Shrashe, Tayra Shabal Peh, Seder Rashe, which is Tayra Shabal Peh, is the Sof of Parsha Yisari, the Sof of Parsha Yisari, which is Matan Tayra, Yes, Darv Zayn, this Hiris Betachlis, in the Nyon, in Pshutim, in Anhogis, Belot Mechavere. I have to be careful. The most simple things in the behavior between one man and another man. This is Zayn, Uzgehit, Afilafun, Minik Besoyen. You have to be careful, even not with embarrassing him. Even with a minik bizoy, not the real embarrassment, you have to be careful. And that's the, the, the part of Matan Teirah. 
Und geschehen wird die Worte beschützt, in der Aserah Sadib ist eine nicht keine besondere Sache von der Aserah It's just like the last statements, which are the most simplest things, are not separate. They're not a separate thing than the first. Nur wie erklärt bekam, bekam es, like it says in many places, the Rebbe explained it many times. Aber das, was man da die Sache, die Sachen reingestellt in der Aserah Sadib ist, the fact that in der Aserah Sadib ist, was put in also the most simplest things between man and man, is echt zu lernen, to teach us, as they sign an ain't in with an echa shem al kefa. That is together with an echa shem al kefa. Which means, eich did vor nishe benodem lachavere, even things between man and man, and the behemes benodem lamokim. They're also between man and Hashem. Which means, how could it be between man and man? But because men darf zay nizer in zay, baldos and doros in Hashem. You have to be careful in these most simplest things, not to hurt somebody. Anything between man and man, why do you have to be careful? Not because logic says it, which is true, but that's not the reason. The reason is because the Ebesh said so. So it's connected to Anish Hashem Lekecha. And because there's the Ebesh, that's why you have Leisir Tzach Maisinav, etc., etc. So this is what it says, B'chal Bad Negei Daser Sadib is the connection between the last ones to the early ones. He says, Rasha Meisiv, so Rasha also adds, Hades Hirus, Kla B'chavercha, is the five of Seres Musi Yitzrach. So Rasha adds even another point. Not only the Rasha says how careful you have to be and not to embarrass somebody, even the meaning B'zoyan, which is similar to what the simple things of the Seres Sadib is, but Rasha even gives a reason. That why shouldn't you embarrass somebody, even Munich Bezoyan? Because he's made in the image of your creator. The Shaykh has said, This that we said, this Isur of embarrassing somebody, which is Benodim Lachavera. We said before, it's connected to Benodim Lamokim, between Hashem also, because Hashem said so. But this is not only because we said, like I said before, why should you not kill? Not because it's not nice to kill, it's wrong to kill, whatever. It's because they just said not. Besides that, it's more than that. Because your friend, which means another Yid, and the Eibish there, is also in Odom Lamokim. Why? Not only because the Mokim, the Eibish said so. Because the Eibish there and another Yid are connected. They're one Muske Biochel. They're one image. On the Rebbe, therefore, is the Nidzai Nizir Bekovet Chavayr. Therefore, if you're not careful in the honor of your friend, haste and Nidzir is in Kovet HaKadosh Baruch You're not being Careful in giving cover to the Ebishter. Not only because you're not listening to what the Ebishter said, because every yid represents the Ebishter. And whatever we said in the negative side, when it comes to the good side, it's much more. As Abbas Israel, loving another yid. He's an Abba built in Mukbelis. So you love him so much till it's no limit to your love. Which brings you to honor your friend, respect your friend. In the great, greatest way, he does. When you respect your friend and you love your friend and love another yid, really, this is loving Hashem. Not only because Hashem said to love the other yid, because the other yid represents Hashem. So it's the covet of Shemaim of David. And it says a posik that whatever you have in one heart to another, the other heart has to you, just like water. When you look into the water, you flex your own face. Whatever you are, that's what you see in the water. Same thing here. If you have the Aves Yisrael to another Yid, that is Megale Aves HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yidin, that reveals the love of David to the Yidin. Because it brings soft, soft, Tzaromus Kovet Yisrael, Afilimei Nikola Amiyoritz, which brings the elevating of the Kovet of Yidin in front of all the nations. It was having Kovet to the Abish, the having, when the Abish that has a love to the Yidin, Brings that the honor of the Eden becomes greater because the Ebesh and the Eden are one. Bisum covet amiti till the Eden get the real covet was with Zion the goal which will be revealed. The goal amiti is to Hashlema the Mashiach to Canaan, the true and complete redemption through Mashiach to Canaan. Very, very soon in our days.